everybody and welcome back to my channel so for today's video i am going to be showing you or discussing the new body shop products i'm hoping to film a body shop video more often this year so like favorite body shop products worst body shop products new in that kind of thing i am not actually purchasing these items to show you them i am just going to be reading out what is new what the product is the purpose of it and will i buy it why will i buy it why won't i buy it etc right so i've just gone on on my phone onto the body shop website and suddenly it says i'm in a live chat i don't know what is going on okay so the first product that i see that's new is the olive shower gel now this looks nice i really like the packaging of this and kind of like the color scheme and everything like that and yeah this is something that i would potentially try because i feel like it seems quite a nourishing product it is six pound fifty for 250 ml and what i found with kind of body shop products in general when it comes to shower gels is that a little goes a long way so i'd be more than happy to kind of pay six pound fifty for a shower gel um, rather than go to Lidl and get one for 50p. I don't, I don't really mind like how much I pay, but anyway, might um, give that a go. That's something that I may potentially try. They also have a new foundation. So this says it is the Fresh Nude Foundation. And at the minute it has five star reviews. So I guess that's good. It's 18 pounds for 30 mils. I don't know why I exclaimed so much at that because I know there are foundations out there that are like over a hundred pounds. But still, um, I'm the kind of person that goes for like a £5 foundation, maybe a £10 foundation maximum. But I guess if it's really good, then it's, you know, worth the money. Um, but this one looks quite nice. It almost looks like a moisturiser in the pictures. Like, does anybody else think that as well? Um, and it's got like a doe foot applicator rather than like a squirty tube. Or it says it creates a natural glowy finish um, with a fresh face moisturised feeling. So I guess this is more like almost like a tinted moisturiser. That's the kind of vibe that I'm getting from what this is telling me because it says it's going to be glowy. It says it's going to be moisturising and it also says it's going to be natural. And whenever something says it's going to be natural, it means there's not going to be a hell load of coverage there. Um, will I be purchasing this? No. The reason why is because I don't really go for kind of like natural foundations. I don't go for glowy ones because I have oily skin. So that would kind of contradict everything that I ever do. Um, matte foundations all the way for me because of my skin type. I can see on their website that they do actually have a lot of shades, which is good to see like a wide shade range. So yeah, um, I guess that would be a good product. If you've tried any of the products I mentioned in this video, please let me know in the comments your opinions on them. Then we have the Avocado Body Scrub. So this um, is £16. I personally would love to try something like this because of the avocado. <laughs> I love avocados. I don't know why. I just love the look of them. I love the taste of them. And I feel like it's quite a nourishing kind of product. Um, and it's, yeah, it's £16. I won't be purchasing this because I don't want to spend £16 on a body scrub, but you know, I, maybe I would, maybe I, I, no, I don't think I would. Then we have the Skin Defense Protective Lip Balm, and this is from the Drops of Light range, I think, and this looks quite nice, actually. It, yeah, it does. It's £7. I don't think that's bad. I think that's pretty decent. I was expecting that to be more, actually, um, unless it doesn't last very long. But yeah, I would actually really like to try that. So that is something that I will consider trying. So I may be doing like a haul in the future of some items that I've purchased from the body shop because um, this is like my first time looking at the new in product. So I'm kind of giving my initial opinions of this. Um, but yeah, I think I'll I might try that. It's also got SPF 50 in and I think that's great for lip balms because I think sometimes, you know, your lips get a little bit neglected when it comes to SPF. We kind of forget that actually you need to protect your lips as well. We've also got the White Musk Perfume Oil. So this is £22. I'm assuming you kind of like dab it onto your skin. Yeah, you do. Um, rather than spraying it. And yeah, I think that's too much money for me for something like that. I know there's really expensive perfumes out there again, but I'm a cheap person when it comes to products, okay? And yeah, I just won't be spending that kind of money. But I can imagine that it's nice. You get 20 mil. So yeah, 20 mil for £22. So you're spending £2.20 per mil. Is that right? Surely I can't be that bad at maths. But yeah, 
I won't be purchasing it, but I can appreciate why someone would. I'm not gonna read out all the new products, by the way, because a lot of these like products and scents are like in a range of like the same scent, but for different products. We also have, which I know has been out for a little while now, actually. This is the Himalayan Charcoal Skin Clarifying Night Peel. This has got a four and a half star rating and it is 22 pounds, I believe. Yeah, 22 pounds for 30 mils. Now, this is quite intriguing for me because I know that the charcoal range or the Himalayan charcoal range is something that I quite like at the body shop. The Himalayan charcoal mask is really good and the soap bar is really good and also um, like the facial wash thing is, is great. So I'm not too sure about this product and whether it's kind of like something that I would go for. I think it says here you only need a couple of drops and it's meant to help refine the appearance of uneven skin texture so that your skin is smoother and looks more clarified and luminous. So I don't know, whenever a product says like, oh, it's going to do this, this, this and this, I'm like, why? How is it going to do that? You know, or what, look, what ingredients are in it for that to happen? I'm not just going to be like, yeah, well, I believe that. OK, let's buy it. So for me, I'm not too sure on it. I don't know if it's something that I would go and buy. If it was discounted, maybe I'd think, okay, now it's my time to try it. So I think for this one, I think I'll only purchase this if it is discounted. God, one of the reviews says it's changed her life. I just looked on the reviews. It says, changed my life. Literally love this product and it's changed my whole skin routine. Well, that's interesting. Then we have the Tea Tree All-in-One Stick, and this is meant for blemished skin. This has got five star reviews. It is 10 pounds. I won't be purchasing this. I have my own tea tree oil that I sell for my little skincare business. If you didn't already know, I sell my own products. I've got a cleansing balm, a face mask, tea tree oil, a lip gloss, and another face mask. And I think I've got something else I can't quite remember. But yeah, my tea tree oil is what I use when I get blemishes. So I don't need something like this. And I think tea tree oil just works so well, like pure tea tree oil by itself. Um, but obviously that, you know, you can try different things, but it's just not something I'm gonna buy. They've also included on here the Pumpkin Instant Radiance In Shower Mask, which I do have. That's not new because that came out in like October or September. I actually have that, but I thought to mention it because it says on here it's £12 and that's reduced down from £18. So if you want to try that face mask, go and get it now whilst it's discounted to £12 because I have that mask. I actually filmed a video reviewing it, which I will link in the description if you want to go and watch that video. But um, yeah, I have that mask and it's really nice. It's really hydrating and I would recommend giving it a go. We then have like avocado shower creams, that kind of thing. Um, but they also have some new hair care products. So they've got a Moringa Shine and Protection Conditioner, which is £7.50 and that's apparently for dull hair. I really like the smell of Moringa, so that is something that I potentially would try, but I've not had the greatest experience with shampoos and conditioners from the body shop. I don't particularly like them, if I'm honest, and I just prefer cheaper ones. I'm not a massive hair person, so I'm not, you know, looking to spend loads of money on hair care products. I have really long hair, but I don't really, you know, use loads of products to kind of look after it. It just grows and that is it really. Um, there's also a Moringa Shine and Protection Hair Mist, which is £10. There's a Ginger Anti-Dandruff Shampoo, which is £7.50 for 250ml. If you've tried that, um, let me know how you get on with that. I don't have dandruff, um, well, occasionally, maybe. Um, but if you um, like that, let me know, because I know that some people have bad experiences with head and shoulders, and it actually makes their dandruff worse. Or if you use head and shoulders, which I've found this is actually true, and you don't have dandruff, it gives you dandruff. So, yeah. We've got, um, obviously, the banana shampoo, as usual, um, and just kind of like the same sort of usual things. And, like, loads of different scented kind of new body milk butters, like almond milk body butter, mango... I swear they've had mango body butters before. It's saying here it's new, or does it mean like new package? Because I know this is a new packaging. So yeah, is this... Yeah, they've definitely had Shea Body Butter. They're including this in the new section of their website because the packaging's new, I bet. Um, but yeah, their body butters are really nice and nourishing, don't get me wrong. Also here is the White Musk Perfume Roll-On Oil. Now this is £7 and it's for 8.5ml. Now this is something that I would consider getting because I actually really like 
roll on perfumes i think they're like really quick and easy to use you're not going to spill them everywhere and yeah i actually like these they're quite travel friendly you can just sort of throw it in your handbag so that's something that i might give a go and um yeah they've also got like more kind of scented products but yeah that's pretty much it for like new in products i think they do have a few more new products coming soon so i will do a new updated um sort of version of this video i didn't want to talk about new products that haven't launched yet so these are like the sort of newer products that the body shop have i will try and do another one of these very soon if they bring out new products i will also be filming more body shop related videos i think the thing that i want to try sort of the most is is probably the um the lip balm so the skin defense protective lip balm from the drops of light range that looks really nice and maybe the olive shower gel you know something simple like that other than that i can't really see anything that i would particularly want to purchase and yeah it's the shampoos and things like that that i tend to kind of avoid and the conditioners from the body shop that's just not my thing but obviously everyone has their own specific opinion so if you've tried any of these products please let me know also just a reminder that the pumpkin mask is 12 pounds so if you do want to get that go and get that now um but yeah thank you for watching i know i haven't really showed the products and i can't really review them this is more of like a will i buy them won't i buy them and why kind of thing but um yeah give the video a thumbs up if you liked it anyway and subscribe for more body shop content on my channel and also for more videos in general and i will see you um in my next video